everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a beautiful shell stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a beautiful lacy design. It is very easy to work and it's one that's fairly strong as well. It's similar on the front as it is to the back. So today for this tutorial we're going to be using a 5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of Pima Cotton by Lion Brand Yarn. You'll find links to both of these items in the description of the video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to say hello down in the comments. Let me know how you would love to use this stitch in a project and I look forward to hearing all of your answers. Uh, let's uh, let's get started. Our tutorial today is worked in rows. We'll start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and for this pattern your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of eight plus three stitches. For example today I'm going to chain 27. There's 10, twenty, and twenty seven. Once you have your foundation chain work to the desired length, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then into each of the next three chains. Next, chain three Skip the next two chains and then single crochet into each of the next six chains. You are then going to repeat that across chain three, skip the next two chains, and single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Repeat that across to your final four chains. When you come across to your final four chains, so you've chained three, uh, skip two, you have four chains remaining, you will single crochet into each of those final four chains. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin with a half double crochet into the first stitch. You're then going to skip the next three single crochet and into your chain three space work ten double crochet stitches. So all into that same stitch, there's or that same space. There's one, two, three, and I'm just inserting them under that chain. Number seven, nine, and ten. Once you have ten double crochets worked into that next chain three space, you're going to skip the next six single crochet stitches and repeat. 
work 10 double crochets all into that same chain 3 space. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of row 2, you've come all the way across. You're going to simply half double crochet into your final stitch. Chain 5 and turn your work. For row 3, we're going to skip the first three double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three. And then single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Chain two. Skip the next three double crochet. And in between the next two stitches, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. So just in between the two shells, double crochet. Chain two, and we're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next three stitches, single crochet into each of the next four stitches. chain two, double crochet, skip the next three and double crochet in the space between the next two, chain two, skip the next three, single crochet into each of the next four. When you come all the way across, you're going to finish off with a chain two, and then a double crochet into your final stitch. That brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Next, into the first chain two space, work one single crochet. So we're just working into the space. You're then going to single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain three. Skip the next double crochet stitch and single crochet into the next chain two. We're now going to repeat all the way across single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Single crochet into the next chain two space, chain three, skip the next double crochet and single crochet in the next chain two space single crochet into each of the next four stitches. When you come all the way across, you're going to single crochet into that final space. Chain, let me see here, uh, chain one and then half double crochet into the third chain, one, two, three, half double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain five. And that brings you to the end of your row four. At the end of row four, we're going to chain three and turn our work. For row five, work five double crochet stitches into the chain one space. So you have your half double crochet, a chain one space, work five double crochet stitches. The chain three counts also as a double crochet. So there's a total of six there. 
So there's three. One, two, three. Four. And five. You're then going to skip the next six stitches and into the next chain three space, work 10 double crochet stitches. And one more. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next six stitches. Work ten double crochets in the next chain three space. all the way across to the final space and when you come to that final space you will work six double crochet stitches into the final chain space At the end of your row five, chain one and turn your work. For row six, you'll begin by working a single crochet into each of the first three stitches. Chain two. Skip the next three stitches and double crochet into the next space. Chain two. Skip the next three stitches and double crochet into each of the next four stitches. We're now going to repeat chain two. Skip the next three stitches, double crochet into the next space, chain two, skip the next three, and single crochet into the next four. Repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final set of six, you're going to skip the next three and then single crochet into each of the final three stitches. And that includes that starting chain as it counted as a double crochet. So don't forget to work into that one. You can then, at the end of row six, chain one and turn your work. For row seven, we're going to begin by working a single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And this is the final row of this repeat. Single crochet into the chain two space. Chain three. Skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next chain th uh, two space, and then single crochet in each of the next four stitches.
we're going to repeat that all the way across. Single crochet in the next chain two space, chain three, skip the next double crochet and single crochet into the next chain two space, single crochet in each of the next four stitches, and in the next chain two space, chain three, single crochet in the next chain two space. When you come to your final three stitches, simply work a single crochet into each of those final three stitches. And at the end of this row seven, chain one and turn. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You're going to repeat those final six rows. So rows two, three, four, five, six, and seven for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your ends and that's all there is. So thank you for joining me for this tutorial on a beautiful shells stitch and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.